hello guys welcome to today's video tutorial by trust stanley at ts tech talk today guys i'm going to teach you guys how to manage your facebook page with your facebook creator studio actually i'm going to be showing you how to assign a facebook page role to um somebody you want to manage your page either your new admin or your new editor or your new advertiser so you can give them a role and then also remove the role on facebook creator studio um actually showing you this is just for you to know how to do it on the creator studio i've actually made a video about this earlier about um, actually how to do it on your mobile and i've also shown how to do it on your facebook without coming to the creator studio but since creator studio have been in a lot of of the features have been going into the facebook creator studio and just as you know um they might remove all these other features on the normal facebook page so that's the reason why i'm making this video for you guys just in case they remove that particular feature in the future all right let's go in and dive into this so if you open your facebook creator studio to access it just type facebook.com slash beta studio so um you always notice it displaying but if you don't notice it displaying just go ahead and type facebook.com slash creator studio and it's going to open this section for you so if you're already logged in it's going to open the dashboard area for you but um for some reason i'm actually making a use um use of new browser so i'm going to have to log into my facebook account make sure you log in into your own facebook account in order to get this to work so um putting your so i'm logged in into facebook creator studio and now this is the dashboard that it is placed to me and this is how we actually get to we have to get started so if you want to manage your facebook page this is where you get that particular option where it says pages go ahead and click on the pages section and wait for it to load and it might take a while to load so once it display for you you can notice um this is all the page which i manage actually on this my personal account so in order for me to um assign a new person into this page if you notice this area these are all the page row i have three page row here i have two here and the rest are one i think so um this is actually the people managing that particular page so all i need to do here is to assign someone else on this particular page section so all you need to do is to click on this particular option and click on manage page row um wait for it and then there are several ways to add this i'm actually going to show you the next way to do that so after it has finished loading so now the page has loaded up and you can notice this particular option that says assign a new row which means we have to put in the person's name here and assign the person a particular um page row and then click on add so all we have to do is to click on this particular option and then type anybody's name which we know on our facebook page and also like our page and also friends with us so i'm going to go ahead and add this person so I'm going to click on the name of the person to add him and then click on this particular section to select a particular rule that you want to give to this person. If you want him to be the admin, that means there are going to be multiple admin on your page. So anybody can kick each other out. That's what that one does. But for the Facebook editor, you get to post, like, enable, delete other people's posts, um, manage the page review comments and other things and also manage your advertisement that is what editor does and editors can also work on the page but editors can remove an admin admin gets to remove that editor and then an editor gets to remove a moderator and also advertiser analysis and also if there are other ones so um after the admin the next in line is editor editor still have more privilege over other admin rules so if you want to give somebody a very close privilege rule close to the admin you have to give them the editor and the moderator gets to work on the comments likes and other things like posting without um without being able to post content but the moderator will be able to like review comments edit or delete comments ban anybody but will not be able to actually engage in deleting or removing other accounts so that's actually what the moderator does and the advertiser only have access to advertising um section it doesn't have access to other things like removing a page removing an admin deleting the page um deleting comments and other stuff he actually manages it 
his own particular comment section and then the analysis only have access to the insight and will be able to see the page also like everybody else but he won't be able to remove an admin editor moderator and advertiser so actually they are all limited depending on their own category and rules so i'm going to go ahead and select anyone that i want to any role that I want to give to this person and then click on it and then select add. And now note that if you have done this, it's going to require you to put in your password again. So you have to put in the password which is written to this account. Then after you've put that in, it's going to log in and then give you access and, uh, and then send the request for the person to become an editor of your page. And then the person will get to accept this request before he will be able to be displayed. So let me show you guys. So I've done that and when I scroll down, you can notice I have two people pending pending um, requests. So they are definitely going to see the notification on their Facebook page and accept that particular request. So let me go ahead and call this person to accept the request and then show you guys again how it looks like. All right, guys. So uh, I called the person and asked him to accept the invite and then... I actually guided the person to get into accepting the invite. So if you um, just did this, you will need to call the person to ask them to accept the invite because if they don't do that, actually it's not going to be accepted and it's not going to be displayed on your page. All they need to do is to go on their notification and then click on click on the particular notification that says um, TS Tech Talk invited you or whatever name of your channel invited them as an editor or whatever role you are inviting them as. Once they click on the notification, they are going to get to a particular page that shows all notifications and they're actually going to be seeing admin in invite. They will see admin invite on that notification section. If they don't see that, tell them to click on all invites so that they will be able to see it. And they have to wait for a while because sometimes it loads on top of the other invites, but it takes a while to load because you have to, depending on how fast your network is, it might load immediately. So after you might have seen that, all you need to do is to come over to your page back and then refresh. I mean, 30 person might have accepted just come over to your Facebook Creator Studio and then refresh again because it might not display because the person already accepted but is not displaying yet on my Facebook Creator Studio. So I just needed to refresh my browser so that it will be able to display. Now you can see that we now have three people as the page role manager. In order to confirm this, let's click on this particular section, go to page role manager and then wait for it to display our page roles. So, um, guys, apart from that, this way I invited them, there is still another way to invite somebody as an admin or whatever on your page. So, you see, it's a success. This is the person and he has been invited as an editor to the page. Now, I have three different editors. And I actually sent an invite to this other person, but it delayed actually. So, I can go ahead and cancel that off and then it will be cancelled off so um after you have done this it's going to request you to enter your password uh, the second time so go ahead and enter the password and then it's going to be removed so um i told you guys i'm going to show you a different way to invite people again all you need to do is to select this ad person right here click on that and then wait for it to load it's going to take a while to load so um once it loaded up just go ahead and type the name of the person it's very similar to the previous one we just did the only difference is this is actually a way it actually displays it it's like a shortcut it displays that particular section of adding um a page row to your facebook creator studio so once you click on that particular button it brings this up and you can go ahead and enter the same detail for instance let me say um i'm going to enter a different page Person, let me say another person with my family name I'm going to add this person and then once I've selected the person all I need to do is select the page which I want to make the person I want to give the person a role and the fun part of this area is that you can get to select multiple pages to admin or or manager just go ahead and type anything at random you can cancel that anytime you want or remove them anytime you want so let me select this multiple actually it's going to be stressed if i'm adding it so but actually after selecting all you needed to do is to click on save and it's going to save 
and actually display on that particular page but i'm actually going to just select only one so that it wouldn't take me more time in removing them because i definitely am going to remove them because i really don't want them as a page and immediately after you've done it it's going to be saved automatically but it might not be displaying until the person accepts the invite so i can quickly come over to the manage page rule and then remove the person and also a way to remove a way to remove an existing an existing page row manager and each time you do this it actually um opts in and asks you to log in so i'm going to remove this person as a page row from my page because i really don't want to have multiple page row managers on my page so i'm definitely going to remove this other guy so if you want to remove anybody just go ahead and click on edit and then you go ahead and select this particular option that says remove so you can go ahead and remove the particular page and um, person from your page or from managing your page click on confirm it will prompt you to enter your password again and you have to enter in the password if you know that so i'm going to like pause this video to enter that so now I've removed the person and immediately it have removed successfully for us. And this is just what I want to do. And this is just what I want to show you guys today, how to manage your Facebook page on your Facebook um, Creator Studio. Because Facebook Creator Studio is just the new thing in town now. It has several features that you can manage your Facebook page and you can go ahead and explore more of it. I didn't actually show you guys everything and I don't think I will have enough time to be showing you guys that. But if you guys are having any question or any challenge with Facebook Creator Studio, go ahead and leave it on a comment below and I'm going to respond to that and I'm going to make a video of that for you guys, teaching you how to do it yourself. So if you guys watch this video and you guys are actually okay and satisfied with the video I would I encourage you to share this video with your friends willingly you don't need to pay to share it you just share it on your social media Facebook Twitter and any other places that you can share it I really appreciate that you do that and if you are watching this video I haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and also um, make sure you take care of yourself and stay home and stay safe also make sure you watch my next video and I'm uploading next tomorrow I mean tomorrow actually see you Peace.